your throne. Ah. They can't install your throne. Ah. Don't say at the Lord, ah. I will overturn. Ah. And overturn. Ah. And overturn. Ah. And overturn. Ah. Ah. Until you sit on your throne. Ah. Hear me as I hear the Lord. Yes. I don't know why the Lord is asking me ah. to ah. declare ah. this. Ah. As your two hands are lifted, ah. you are the next on the line. Ah. You are the next on the line. Ah. So sit on that throne. You are the next on the line. You are the next on the line. You are the next on the line. Receive the grace you need. Receive the favor you need. Receive the power you need. Receive the strength you need. Receive the capacity you need. Take it right now. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Hear me as I hear the Lord. That member of your family that is described as a black sheep. That is described as a black sheep. That one person in your family that causes everybody to worry. That causes everybody to say what is going on. That one person that the devil has unleashed at that to rubbish their destiny. Woman of God reverse. Today we reverse it by fire. We reverse it by fire. We reverse it by fire. The same way the Bible says uh, that the prodigal son uh, came to his senses uh, one day. Uh, he came to his senses uh, right now. Uh, that one that is referred to uh, as the black sheep, uh, wherever they are, wherever they are, on the face of the earth, uh, right now. Uh, we announce they are coming to their senses. Uh, they are coming to their senses. Uh, they are changing right now. Uh, Becoming another man, another woman, another man, another woman. They are rising to their full capacity. They are rising to their full potential. Prodigality will destroy right now. Black sheep will destroy right now. The spirit of wandering will destroy right now. When they create, they are rising right now. In the name of Jesus. As your amen will turn now, hear me as I hear the Lord. I don't know who this word is for, but as your two hands are lifted, hear me clearly. Nothing will arise from your yesterday to scatter your today. Nothing will arise from your yesterday to scatter your today. As your amen will turn now, they are swallowed by fire. 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 Let your amen turn aloud now. Let your amen turn loud. Spirit of average, 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 average. I am a little bit broken right now. Let it break, 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 let your amen turn the louder, let your amen turn the louder. Somebody 
declare say this celebration. This celebration will be instant. Will be instant. Let your amen turn and out of Declare it again. Say this celebration. This celebration will be instant. Will be instant. Let your amen rise. Amen. Let your amen rise. Amen. Let your amen rise. Amen. Amen. Ever oh. since you had that accident, Baruch oh. Hashem, you have not been well. Oh. You have not been well. Oh. Ever since you had that accident, oh. you have not been well. Akabarabosh. Oh. As your amen will turn, I command Rabakaton. Every pain, every affliction that came as a result of that accident, I decree let it be reversed right now. Let it disappear. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen turn the louder. I don't know the family that needs this prayer, but the class say, Arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord. Avenge. Release your vengeance. Release your vengeance. Release your vengeance. Say, O Lord. Hold on. To cover, to eliminate the greatness of my family. Say, arise, O Lord, fight for us. Arise, O Lord, fight for us. Arise, O Lord, fight our battle. Arise, O Lord, arise, O Lord. Everybody, I said it's my time and it's my turn. It is my season to testify. I said I must testify, yo. I must testify. It's our turn. So she said, ah, what is happening? What is going on? I said, you know, here, your sister want to give birth. They said the baby is dead. Do you know what she said? The thing, the first thing that came out from my mouth was not on my watch. I said, good, that's my girl, you are in the spirit. She said, okay, let me call you back. Then, so she told me that after then, she went to the hospital where my sister was. She went to lay her hand on my sister's head. And she was praying, God of NSPD, you have to prove yourself. You have to prove yourself. God of Pastor Jerry, prove yourself. And while she was praying there, me, I was praying. After the prayer that morning, that was when they called me. So I go back to put back the prayer again. That yesterday morning prayer, which is on the third. I put back the prayer. I put my earpiece. I was in class and I dropped my phone on top of the table. If Pastor Jerry is I'll be saying amen. Anytime I'll say, her Pastor. It is my time to receive my congratulations this time. I don't want to get anything. I want that baby to come back to life. If the prayer finish, I'll still repeat it. When the prayer finish, I'll still repeat it. Lo and behold, for four, my younger sister sent me the picture of the baby that they said is dead. They want to remove from her womb. The baby is fine. The mother is fine. Indeed, what God cannot do truly does not exist. Thank you, Pastor Jerry. Thank you, everybody, for taking our time. So come on, if I had Pastor Jerry, God will bless you for us. Me, for this altar, I know they go anywhere. In fact, everybody that I've introduced to this altar, they've, in fact, they've received their congratulations. They've received their testimonies. And my girlfriend that they said she had five birth, she's pregnant. She will soon give birth with baby. Thank you, NSVP. The word God cannot do does not exist. Indeed. What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Esther. I'm giving my testimony for New Jersey in the United States of America. I have my son whom I was 12 years plus. I gave birth to him. He was 27 weeks. When he was two years, the doctor told me that the eyes is badly damaged because of he was born preemie. And he referred me to the specialist. And he went to the specialist from that two years and they gave him an eye glass, which he was using. He'd be using that eye glass when he was five years. They referred me, we went back to the same Ghana, the eye doctor, who said the eye is not improving, rather it's getting worse and worse. And I asked him, what will we do? 
He says surgery is not the solution. The only thing that he will wear the eyeglasses for 24 hours. Even when he's sleeping, he have to use the eyeglass. And I said, why would he use eyeglass to sleep? And I told my husband, we have to go for another second opinion. And I went for the second opinion. They only see us only one day, one time. And they refer us to another specialist. From that five years, I have moved to one specialist, to another specialist, to another specialist. Till I moved, I said, let me decide to use my own eye doctor. And I take my son last year, that is the sixth specialist. I went to my eye doctor and the eye doctor see him and say, oh no, the eye is badly damaged, that he can't see him anymore. He referred me again back to the same doctor when he was two years. I said, no, I don't want to see this doctor. He said, but there's another doctor. Then I choose that one. When we went there, the doctor said the same thing, that this eye is badly damaged, but I will do an eye patch for him. He did. They patched the eye for six months, yet no solution. I remember this year, we went back again. The doctor said, okay, they will change the lens. Then they changed that lens and give us a different lens for him. And he told me that the surgery is not the solution. Nothing they will do. The only thing for him to wear that eyeglass. I said, okay. That day I came out from my car and I wept. I said, God, what is going on? I thank God for my brother wife, Cynthia, who introduced me to this uh, NSPPD and I joined in August. And on the October 1st, I will never forget it, the reign of our blessing. Pastor Jerry mentioned, there is someone here They said, one of your eye is badly damaged without repair. I don't know which part of your eye that they said is damaged beyond repair. Is damaged beyond repair. The devil is a liar. As your heaven will turn, the Lord is giving you a new eye. And I jump up and say, That is my son. That is my son. That is my son. And that particular day he went to school, there was a fire alarm in their school so when he was running he fell down and hit that eye on the ground the school called me and said your son hit his eye on the ground i said oh my goodness this eye that is having a problem is the same eye again he hit on the ground and i said then when he came back i said is there any problem he said no mommy there is no problem and I didn't even know that that glass they gave him was damaged. So the next day, I was taking him to school. I didn't see him putting on eyeglass. Where is your eyeglass? He said, Mommy, did my eyeglass damage. But Mommy, I can see everything clear. I said, do you mean what you are telling me? He said, yes, Mommy, everything. I can see everything clear. My fear when I was...